All right, so I sanded the top. I'm going to put the blue on now. Uh, so I mixed up the blue yesterday, which is a really nice dark blue. Uh, I did a, t a test on here. This is You put the black on, and I wanted to make sure that the color was blue. And then I did a little bit on here just because I wanted to make sure before I got too far. So this is sanded out to 400. So I'm going to stain it. So I'm going to take a rag, a little rag. You get this stuff all over you. It's a pain in the ass. It never comes off. Huh? All right, now we're going to take the blue, and we're just going to rub it on. You don't want to get too much because I don't want it all over the place. But damn, that's a nice color blue. Okay. I'm going to try not to hit the sides, even though I'm probably going to sand it later anyway. You see all these areas that came up? That's from the uh, putting that black in there. I hope you can see it. probably not in the video, right? Let me move this stuff out of the way here. A little more and yeah, that is one nice blue <laughs> so yeah this is the uh it's a they it's a solvent base it's like an aniline i don't know if it's aniline or whatever it is. it's now called based dye i'm gonna rub that on there at the top <sighs> and that is one nice color blue so i mean this one, it, as long as it's wet, you're not really changing the color too much. Make sure you get all those little edges. Um, but if uh, if you want to get it darker, you can put more coats than one on. Um, this one, actually. See, now, it's, it's a little darker than it's going to be when, when you put the clear on. And we're going to shoot the top of this with nitrous cellulose. And uh, that is uh, one nice blue. So we'll let that dry. And then we're going to uh, start shooting it after. We'll clean up the sides and everything. I'm gonna tape it off before I shoot it. Sand around here anywhere that I might have got a little bit of blue. Cause I wanna have this natural binding. I wanna have a natural binding. And then so I'll just clean these edges up. And then once this dries, yeah, it doesn't take that long, but I will let it, I'll wait 24 hours. And then uh, before we go any further with it. And then I'll just hang it up. So. There you go. That's your basic uh, stain. It's a nice book match. You can see where I cut the top and joined it. These two pieces. So it's like a, it's like an exact match. You can even see like these little spots here and here. And then you got your tiger claws. There you go. Hang that up. And we'll be back.